this sloth bot actually came when I was in Costa Rica, when I got mildly obsessed with sloths, because I could not understand how these creatures could exist, right? So I started reading up about slowness as a design paradigm and decided, you know what? No. If I'm going to deploy robots that are out somewhere for really long periods of time, they don't need to be fast. That's not how we typically do things, but sometimes being slow is actually better. where we are experiencing rampant biodiversity loss. Nearly a quarter of all plants are at risk of extinction. What the Slothbot will help us do is collect data to better conserve those species. And that's one of the things with conservation and how we move forward with this kind of really unique um, melding of robotics technology and conservation. I think that's actually where we can make meaningful impacts and how we can move the dial. I really think it's fascinating to think about robots as being part of an environment, or being part of an ecosystem. And this idea of connecting environmental work and biology and the sciences with robotics, I think is very, very powerful. And I'm hoping that thanks to the Slothbot, we're gonna get an entirely new generation that's really interested in what can robotics do to make the world better.